Well, hello there, and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, the host for this week's uh, show, and I've got a whole bunch of topics Happy to start talking about. To what? What's going you. on? Happy Holy anniversary to you. Look at this. Happy anniversary, EV Revolution. That's me. Happy anniversary wow. to you. Well, thank you very much. If you guys haven't picked up on it, yes, it's the one year anniversary of the EV Revolution show. This is my lovely wife and daughter who, uh, you know, without their support, I couldn't do this show, folks. So I want to, again, say a big thank you to them. And thank you for bringing me this lovely cupcake, uh, which may explode on me. I don't know if I don't blow out this candle, so I'll make a wish for Another successful year at the EV Revolution show. More good content that you guys will enjoy and good interaction. And well, I'll continue to do what I do here. So let me blow this out and I'll get to some of the stories. All right. It's a good sign if I still got that going. Yeah, so this actually show is just going to be a, a recap of the last year. I've got lots of snippets from the different episodes. You know, I've done over 40 episodes now, 40, uh, you know, with car shows and impression videos and reviews and all kinds of stuff that uh, my antics uh, show you guys almost every week as I get into more of a frequency with the show. So I hope you sit back and take the next 10, 15 minutes and enjoy some of the snippets from the last year. Well, welcome to this, uh, what we think is a momentous occasion. This is our very first episode of our new show called the EV Revolution Show. Welcome. Thanks for watching, folks. My name is Kenneth Bacor. I'm Trevor Page. So our names haven't changed, just no. the show name has changed. <laughs> Channel hasn't changed, just a little rebranding of the show exactly. to really reflect our, our new directions and branching out a little bit. So saying that Tesla is trying to get uh, to 300 units of production per day. Mm -hmm. They're asking people to kind of come in or maybe change shifts or do something different. Prelude. Oh, it was the prelude. That's was what it the was. prelude? It was the prelude. Okay. Uh, like 94, I think that it was. Active rear steering. Yeah, it had a, mm -hmm. an optional uh, steering. Yeah. Anyways. So pretty cool. Keep an eye on these guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep our... So just quickly on the e-Golf. It's another car that we've been tracking and we've done an inter uh, review of it. And nice we've car. seen like it a few it. times. Great car. Can look at I will tell you this. I'll just add this real quick. Um, when I get this argument, what I do is I pull up the plug share app on my phone and I just zoom in on the local area and that ends the argument every single time. Good point. Yeah, so, two weeks ago. Yeah, so. so he showed up with his Model 3. It was a big hit. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Michael Russo too, who yeah. just took delivery of his yes. uh, his CPO Model S and he was supercharging I was the first there. guy to see it. We had dinner that yeah. night. He got it. Yeah, so, so good shout out hey, to Michael Mike. and stuff. So he had a chance to sit in the Model 3. So yeah. he was all very happy about that. So we've spent some time now with the uh, 2018 Nissan Leaf. And I wanted to give you just some uh, quick information on my driving experience so far. All right, I'm here with our favorite uh, Nissan Canada person, Francois Lafarve. If I pronounce that correct, I always seem to muck it up. Yeah, out of Quebec. If I had a flag in my hand, maybe you can <laughs> Photoshop a flag. I'll put a flag behind us. There you go. We'll put a flag <laughs> Good enough. Us. You yeah, may not see point. it specifically, so if you can and you're taking delivery of Model 3, make sure you take uh, the car outside, inspect it in the direct sunlight, and look for any discoloration. If there's any issues, just bring it up with Tesla. They'll make it right for you. It's a 350 kilowatt Terra HP high power ultra fast charger. It can say replenish. that five times fast. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get our hands on one maybe by the end of the year. Or I think early. we'll see an I Pace before we see the Audi. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I, we're really hoping to get an I Pace basically came from the fact that they're including a lot more options in the car. Now right. you get a choice of white or black interior. The white will show up eventually in the rest mm -hmm. of the cars. They're just Which logistics. you predicted, by the way, like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> white interior. So well, the white One interior is you. popular. Yeah. yeah. All right, just off the Nissan to go pick up the Leaf. My daughter's going to be helping with the filming of the delivery, and my Uncle Johnny's tagging along because ah. he's got nothing better to do today. I've gone all, all through all the stuff with Eddie. He's explaining all the features and functions like we've had to, and uh, now it's time to get the keys and, and get going home. So, Eddie, it's been a pleasure, pleasure dealing with you and Alton Nissan. So Appreciate Anything it very much. Just let me know. Certainly. So all right. Keys, and that's really. Ooh, revolution starts, my friends. Excellent Electric support. cars are perfectly fine in the cold climates, in case you're asking or you want yes, to email you, in. Yes, you've gone through a winter now, I've been through so. a winter. It's mm -hmm. fine. There's tons of Teslas in Norway. It's, I mean, they... they yeah film part of Star Wars there and the so again that hockey stick momentum of course where's the largest plug-in market do you think uh China absolutely correct China <laughs> which we don't talk a lot about but they're going gangbusters I'm just waiting for the the Tesla snakes to oh the snake that's right that was snake. that was pretty cool I'll put the video behind us it's you creepy. just got to play the the flute thing or whatever. <laughs> na, 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 na. by 2022 
So we've got 2020 to look forward to, and now 2022 seems to be a pattern. <laughs> I mean, the way I look at it is if I'm driving for two, two and a half hours, I, I'm done. I want to get out. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right? Unless you got a case of like, got to get there. I guess yeah. I get that. There's yeah, people that want to make these cannonball runs to Florida That's in 24 it. hours. You know? That's it. Whatever. All right, let's get on to the manufacturer segments of our program. Let's, of course, start off with Tesla and Model 3 at that point, And they plan to open it on 2020. But that's Elon time. That, so. Yeah, it's Tesla time. Add another year to these Tesla numbers. Time. Audi, uh, Volvo builds good stuff. I think it'll be a good quality product. It's boxy, it but it's good. Yeah, it's boxy, <laughs> but it's good. That's an old quote. Jaguar I-Pace, uh, of course, uh, I had a look at it fully charged. So you're in BC and Quebec, you can still get an incentive towards this and uh, do your pre-order. If you don't care about the incentive, <laughs> put your $1,000 down. But, uh, I thought they were actually going, they were toast, they were done, but it seems that's not too... Uh, Service. And I remember we were talking about this before we started. I was a kid getting milk delivered to the door. Me too. All right, folks, I'm going to try to do a series of quick videos, a day in the life of uh, the, the Nissan Leaf. And I just wanted to supply a few minutes of closing comments surrounding the cost of how much it is to operate this vehicle, because that's a pretty important question that I get asked a lot. Certainly exceeding production in, in all geographies that uh, I'm hearing, that there are six month plus wait times for the Ionic. Zoe, I wanted to throw that in there, uh, but they've got a five to six month wait list in the UK, and I believe about three to six month in the EU. So even they're struggling to keep up with demand. And challenges of, of EV buyers are having today. Now that we've convinced people to buy an EV, they're going out to try to find, to get one, but they can't find one. A thousand or so US dollars. And they have already current pre-orders over 6,500. You know, it's like when you see that puppy on YouTube or, your, or that cat, and it's just so cute. And, and what we're trying to do is promote EV adoption. So hey guys, it's Ken here. I'm at a conference in the U.S. and I ran into an old friend of mine, John Hitter. Hi John, how are you buddy? I'm great. How are you? Good. The reason John's with me is because he's an avid EV guy. So they invited me out for the launch of their new uh, DC fast chargers from a consumer that they're going to be rolling out. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this. And just loves the instant torque. Of course, that EV smile that we talk about. And of course, the quietness of the EV experience. It's that helped organize uh, the event here in Brampton in coinciding with the National Drive Electric Week. Week events that happened all across the US and Canada Not yet. But for those waiting for that $35,000 base Model 3, from a budget pricing perspective, it's coming. It's just going to be a little bit longer. So because primarily of the very efficient, what they call recuperation or we call regenerative braking, <laughs> regenerative energy. Or, and I'm excited to be in Munich, Germany with a special guest. I have here Carmenia's one and only Chris <laughs> Carastoni here. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for allowing me into your home. I'm going to bring you into the picture because okay. all they're seeing is your voice. So okay. we'll do that and then you'll, you'll get some road coverage for us. Great. That? that works better. Right, folks, I'm here at the uh, Jaguar event in Sherway Gardens in Toronto. So I'm here with Felix from Sono Motors. Hey. Hi, Felix. How are you? Okay, how's it going? Oh, excellent. Thank you very much for inviting me to your press release uh, event here today in the lovely area of Kempton in Germany. Yeah. Let's go around here. How does it drive? For a prototype, quite well, doesn't it? Quite well. Through their various methods that they can, that gave out some uh, some potential leakage in the pricing for the new 60 kilowatt hour Leaf that's supposed to be coming out in the early part of next year. Now, the more a little bit more expensive cars, so that they can get those profits in to be able to reinvest in the company to get the to get the economies of scale to get the $35,000 car out. Okay, so he's another company, folks, that I've been following for quite some time, and I believe I mentioned them on a couple of shows. It's a company called Unit. They're a Swedish-based company coming out with an urban EV vehicle. But there's also the Kia Soul, which is still around. And uh, Kia has come out and they are looking to debut a long-range version of that car. They're going to come out with it at the uh, LA Auto Show. But I think it's a good representative of various other areas in the world, specifically those areas in the modernized countries, industrialized countries, and so forth, where where this is certainly a problem. You know, I think it's based on the Model 3 platform, but it's going to be smaller than, a, than an X, obviously. And most of them are several years behind. Uh, probably Nissan's the closest since they started the Leaf really early in 2010 as a global car. One of the things I get asked a lot when I go see people and talk to people about EVs is range. What kind of range do they have? And that old range anxiety tends to creep in a little bit until you start talking to people about the advantages and that is going to hit the phase out period. They're at 196,000, just, just shy of 197,000. There was an announcement that they do plan on now starting to deliver Model 3s 
These are right-hand drive, sorry, left-hand drive units, not right-hand drive. They're the normal left-hand drive units. I think the kicker to this is that they anticipate that these ferries, once operational, will help reduce emissions to the equivalent of 7 million kilograms of carbon dioxide per year. And that's what we like to hear. Electric vehicles out in the marketplace for consumers to choose from. And Kia's no exception. They've done a few models now and just over uh, 1,200 I-PACES in October. That brings their year to date to about 2,000. 500 just a little under that all right so i want to switch gears a little bit talk about volkswagen there's a few things i want to talk about in this segment regarding volkswagen if you weren't aware of it already trevor uh of course my partner in past on the model 3 owners club show that uh, we got started in this whole electrification youtube stuff that we do may not see much for me in the next couple of weeks or so but i will try to get something out when i'm back uh within that time period. So I talked about the Kona and the Kia Niro EV a lot now in the last few shows because I'm really, really pumped about those cars. I th again, I think those those vehicles are, are hitting a great sweet spot. It's a, a German a manufacturer of uh, electric vehicles and electric transportation, if I'm getting that correct. Just regarding some tips for winter EV driving. Why that's important, especially in the winter, is for a couple of reasons. And this is good for whether you have your car parked in a garage, it's still cool in here, or outside, where it's more, much more exposed to the element. Uh, there's been some spy pictures that I'm putting up behind me uh, of their urban EV. So that concept that I mentioned earlier, it's wrapping up in Poland over the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of information coming out. <clears throat> to the UK to visit my friends um, out there, some fellow EV YouTubers. After that, where we start seeing their new, brand new. Again, the ID platform is an all electric platform designed from the ground up for electric cars and for the charity raffle for these things. Even if you don't have a Model 3, you may, you probably, good chance you may know somebody that's got a Model 3 that at a CCS charging. Uh, or it was charging via CCS at a Fastned station in, I believe, the Netherlands. Last show, I talked about Volkswagen. Just to have a quick update about the IDS. Just some information that came out recently about uh, Rivian or Rivian. I have to figure out how to pronounce that. You know, I started this channel back in April with Trevor, did a couple shows and kind of took it over on my own shortly after. Here today, and we did a quick review of, he's got a Model X set uh, from the same manufacturer, Oscar and Hamish, and uh, we talked about, we actually reviewed the Model 3 from Renault. Now, we don't see a lot of Renault here in North America but in Europe they're a pretty big manufacturer and on Nissan Leaf there was an update done by a gentleman called Electric Suite and for next year for 2019 um, you know there's lots of different models that are be going to be coming out we, I had uh, talked to one of the product managers here in Canada at the Canadian International Auto Show uh, almost a year ago all right folks well I'm here in downtown Guelph in a little bit of a snowy Saturday and delivery vans and things like that are great for for any type of hauling uh, transportation environment are great for electrification we talked about the the switch from initially hybrid or battery plug-in uh, hybrid electric vehicles and um, all electric only battery vehicles uh, you know you had higher sales here and lower sales for all electric and now we've seen that switch we've seen that, that crossing point all right so i mentioned a little bit of information about my leaf and let me get back to that for a sec We're waiting to see whether the our federal government from ottawa will offer some sort of alternative rebates programs your launch models uh, b was in the early to mid part of 2018 i guess this is dependent on geography as well folks here's into volkswagen now i did a lot of talk about volkswagen the well hey guys here at detroit international auto show Show, a North American International Auto Show in Detroit. All right, guys, well, I'm here with James Bell, uh, who's really the, the top dog here at Kia. This, this man is very kind. He, all right, guys, well, I'm just taking a break and walking around. My feet are getting sore already, the first few hours here in Detroit. So they finally rolled out the Infinity QX Inspiration, and we're uh, a bunch of media and I were getting some shots here of it. All right, so I'm here with Matthew at the VW Group. I was uh, finally able to track somebody down to talk about electrification. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for taking the time to meet with me. Of course. Way from me, but I tackled him. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks, Brian, for taking the time to uh, chat with me. Thank you, Ken. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm done with the uh, North American International Auto Show uh, 13,000 or so steps later. I'm just giving it gas, and uh, as you can see, hopefully, I'm uh, doing some, some nice tight circles here in this snow. Nissan has decided to cancel the diesel version of their really popular NV200 van. Uh, there was an article came out though, and I kind of think we were expecting this because one of the things I was saying is I really hope Kia can build enough. Well, announcements and more news on Ford when it comes to the F-150s, the pickup truck battle, 
it's only getting started, folks. You won. I'm actually down here in Toronto, downtown, at the Canadian International Auto Show. Here, and I'm here with Thomas. He's the top gun. How are you, Thomas? Hey, he's Canada really good. the top gun in VW Canada. I like Don't to think so. Don't anybody else fool you that he's, let's say he's not. So, And, and obviously, it's got the, the more compact uh, CUV, SUV sizing, as you can see, with relative to myself. All right, guys. Well, it's been another year. It's almost the same spot about a year ago, maybe about 10 feet over. Yeah, when we're I over there. this fine gentleman, Francis. <laughs> Well, how are you, sir? Good to Very see you. Very good. Again. Always good. It's always good to a see you too. To come and see you. Here at the Kia booth, and I have, uh, it's, it's really a thrill to be able to meet Reg. How are you, Reg? Thank Very you good yourself. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, just a nice little uh, accolades from the EVA Revolution show for the Kia Nero EV Nero uh, 2019 EV of the Year. All right, guys, well, I'm excited to be here at the Mercedes booth to finally see the EQ in person. My last stop today at the Canadian International Auto Show is at the Genesis booth, and that they unveiled their new electrical concept car which i'm so excited about i mean not really true level five at this point because level five means that the that really the human driver we can get in the car and do nothing just go to sleep in the back seat it's your you know johnny cab and i reference that quite a lot over the last few years situation if you've seen the movie and technology and different elements that our manufacturers can put it into a vehicle to say this is where we're thinking we might be going with this what do you think how do you like it and find less number of suv and pickup truck uh, and crossover utility vehicle ads then then for small small to medium size sedan cars hatchbacks whatever the more you get a little bit more range and some more internal uh, specs with that so a nicer interior well the next big announcement that i'm so excited for and kind of probably the main focus of this show even though it's only one story of a few that i have today is polestar a lot like that uh, it's got you know a completely different kind of b pillar uh, or it's got a b pillar in it it's the pricing yet on the nissan leaf e plus as an example but last fall in the southern germany area in bavaria lovely bavaria it was a beautiful time of year to be there new is at the geneva was safe coming from sayat which is part of the vw group again i like the interior you know, again, I had a chance to, to snoop around the uh, e-tron here in the Toronto show. So when it comes from the folks like Fiat, because, you know, sometimes you just want to wrap your arms and hug these vehicles. <laughs> uh, VW came out, uh, debuted the all-electric Volkswagen ID buggy concept. Last piece of information is mailbag. Haven't had mailbag for quite some time. Last night with the Model Y reveal. Um, I actually did stay up to watch it. Inverter, on the, you look at this diagram behind me here. The battery's connected to the inverter, which is connected to the motor, which is connected to the axle and the wheels and all that good stuff. Part is the upfront cost. So looking at the return on that investment, uh, here's a picture of our of the win my winner that I had for my first uh, charity raffle. Let me get right into a few stories that I'm following for you today. And thank you for taking the time to watch the show. This is from Kia, and it's called the Kia Imagine concept vehicle what they called their premium architecture electrification or PPE architecture they all know why we do what we do here at the EV revolution and until next time everybody please stay safe and we'll see you then. well hey guys I hope you enjoyed the look back on the past year of episodes of the EV revolution show and I'll be coming up with a new episode in the next few days so stay tuned for that but again a big thanks to all my supporters the viewers people who comment, my Patreon supporters, all the good stuff. I just really can't can't thank everybody enough. I, I run into a lot of people now at different events and they, they come up and say thanks for doing the show and I really, really appreciate it. I got emails. It's really, really nice to, uh, to know that what I'm doing is making some impact in people's decisions and that you like what you see. So again, keep sending me those comments and emails. And until the next real episode, everybody stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.